bloom filters a bloom filter is going to answer the question does this element belong in a particular set so there are going to be two stages to this bloom filter first we are going to input the elements into the set and for each element input we are going to update this filter and then we come to the second stage which is the querying stage where we are going to ask this bloom filter does this particular element belong to the set so let me explain with an example so in the beginning the size of the bloom filter is given so that is going to be stored in m let us say m is equal to 5 for this example now we are going to define two hash functions let's say hash 1 of x is equal to x mod 5 let's say h2 of x is equal to 2x plus 3 mod 5 now that we have these three things defined let's start inserting elements into our set so the element we are going to insert is going to be x I'm going to record what the hash 1 of x is going to be I'm going to see what hash 2 of x is going to be and I'm going to see our bloom filter array so in the beginning let's say I want to insert 9 into my set so hash 1 of 9 is going to be 9 mod 5 which is going to be 4 hash 2 of 9 is going to be 18 plus 3 which is 21 mod 5 which is going to be 1 so now I'm going to have a bloom filter array so this is my array of 5 elements we have already said the bloom filter is going to be of size 5 now at index 1 and at index 0 I mean at index 4 I am going to make those indexes 1 all on the other indexes in the beginning will be initialized to 0 now I have the results 4 and 1 at those indexes I am going to place a 1 now let me insert my second element let's say I want to insert 11 11 mod 5 is equal to 1 11 into 2 is 22 plus 3 25 mod 5 is equal to 0 so now if this was our existing bloom filter I am going to change the first and the zeroth positions to 1 the first has already been changed to 1 so we leave it like it is so 0 will get a 1 1 will get a 1 and copy everything as it was so this is going to be our state of the bloom filter so what is the state of the bloom filter after adding these two elements the state of the bloom filter is 1 1 0 0 1 so phase 1 is complete when we are inserting elements into our set now let's go to phase 2 which is the querying stage so let's say I say query 15 so I want to check whether 15 is part of the set that is 15 is one of the elements whether it is one of the elements I have inserted so I'm going to calculate h1 of 15 h1 of 15 15 mod 5 is equal to 0 then I will calculate h2 of 15 15 into 2 is 30 plus 3 is 33 mod 5 will give us 3 so now I will check the 0th position and the third position if both of them have a 1 let's see 0th position is 1 but third position is 0 if both of it was filled with 1 I could say there's a possibility of 15 being added but since the, in the 0th position I have a 1 and in the 3rd position I have a 0 and both of them are not filled with 1's I am sure that 15 has not been added so what can I say surely 
फिफ्टीन इज नॉट एडिड और नॉट प्रेजेंट इन द सेट नाउ लेट मी टेक द सेकेंड क्वेरी लेट से आई वॉन्ट टू क्वेरी सिक्सटीन सो एच वन ऑफ सिक्सटीन इज गोइंग टू इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन मॉट फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू वन एच टू ऑफ सिक्सटीन इज इक्वल टू थर्टी टू प्लस थ्री इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो सो नाउ लेट्स चेक द फर्स्ट एंड द जीरो एथ पोजिशन जीरो एथ पोजिशन इज वन फर्स्ट पोजिशन इज वन सो बोथ द जीरो एंड द फर्स्ट इंडेक्स इज गोइंग टू इक्वल टू वन इन सच अ केस आई वुड थिंक दैट सिक्सटीन कूड हैव बिन एडेड टू द सेट बट इन रियालिटी हैज सिक्सटीन बिन एडेड टू द सेट no so whenever i get a positive answer from a bloom filter then i don't know whether that answer is in act in actuality correct or it's going to give me a false positive answer like this so this kind of answer is positive definitely because it's going to give me a positive answer because both the zero with and the first positions are filled with one but this is not the correct answer 16 is not part of the set so this is called a false positive so whenever i get a positive answer when i query with a bloom filter i say that 16 was probably present i cannot say this assuredly so i cannot confirm that if i get a positive answer yes it's going to be present no that positive answer could be a false positive so i don't know whether 16 was really present or not all i can say was is that 16 is probably present so in a bloom filter you get two answers you can get a negative answer which is going to be the correct negative answer the negative answer is always going to be right it's always going to give the correct information but the positive answer can be a false positive so this bloom filter is mainly used to see whether something exists in a set or not and we are mainly interested in knowing whether it is not present in the set so when we know that the answer from the bloom filter is that that number is not present we can say with full assurance that yes it must not be present but if our bloom filter returns that this element could be present we know that that answer is not to be trusted because it could end up in a false positive so this is how a bloom filter works